Welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your Discord bot online 24-7. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So in the previous video, I showed you guys how to actually code a Discord bot and a very basic command. And as you can see, it only works if you do no space dots. If you close out of the terminal, it will go offline. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that. Because once you actually have commands, and once your bot is functional within your server, you're going to need it to stay online 24-7. So it's best to just get it on right away. So you're going to go ahead and navigate to the website discloudbot.com. You're going to go ahead and click the login button. Uh, the website defaults to Spanish, so just change your uh, language to English or English. And then once you've done that, you should be able to log in. Um, basically, you're just going to authorize it with your Discord accounts. And then it will log you in. So once you're logged in, you can click the uh, icon, your icon right over there. Click dashboard. And then as you can see, I already have my Discord bot right here. Because I already have a Discord bot hosted with this website. But for you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click the add bot button. And then once you're inside it, it's going to look something like this without the top part. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go over to the Discord developer portal, um, like we did in the last video, and then we're going to go over to this tab right here and under general, and then we're going to copy the client ID. Very important that you get that client ID, and that's where you're going to paste in the bot ID section, so you can just paste that right there. Um, and then for your main bot file, all you're going to need to do is type in index.js right here. Um, you have to type in index.js so the website knows what file to actually look for um, when it's reading your zip file, which we need to make right now. So to make a zip file, what we're going to want to do is we're going to navigate to the bot's actual files, and then we're just going to highlight all the stuff. Do not highlight node modules. You will not need that. Just highlight uh, the index and the package and package lock. Right click on it and then compress to zip file. If you are not on Windows 11 and you cannot clearly figure it out, uh, just look up a separate tutorial on how to make a zip file, but it should be pretty straightforward. So once you compress it into a zip file, uh, just go ahead and name that uh, your bots tutorial bot zip, something like that. Um, and then you can just drag it out of your folder. It's very important that you actually drag it out of your folder um, because you do not want it in your actual code, otherwise it can cause errors. So once you have that on your desktop, all you have to do is drag the tutorial bot zip right into where it says zip. And then you're just going to click the add bot button. Again, it is going to look different for you because you're starting a new project. But for me, I already have a project here, uh, which I cannot change. But once you have the client ID, once you've typed in index.js, and then once you have your zip file that we just created, uh, dragged in here, then all you have to do is click add bot. So depending on your Wi-Fi speed, this may take a little bit of time, but it will automatically um, join a Discord server on your account, which will look something like this. Um, once you're signed in, it will look like this. And then it's very important that you actually stay in this server because to edit, uh, to edit your code, you do not actually need this website. So once you've created the bot and it turns online, um, you're going to go ahead and close out of the website. Trust me, you do not need this website. You're never, ever going to need to visit it again. So once you've closed out of it, all you're going to need to do is just commit your file into this Discord server and it updates your bot. So basically, let's say I edit a code. I, I add a new command. I add the member count command, for example. All I would have to do is go into my main bot file, create a new zip, and then drag it onto my desktop to replace the other one. And then, so that will update the code on the zip, and then all I have to do is do dot .c, and then by doing dot .c, it will put me in a thread, and all I have to do is literally upload the tutorial zip to the uh, channel and then once the bot the discloud bot works as you can see right here it will go ahead and update this zip to your file so you do not actually have to worry about going into the website you can do this from your phone if you have the zip on your phone you can literally do it from anywhere and it even has a log feature so if it, it pings you when your bot crashes and when it's online you'll see that in just a second um, and all that stuff so it's actually very very helpful as you can see it's finished and then it says it's online 
So that is how uh, you actually get your bot online 24-7. And as we can see, the bot is currently online and it will stay like that unless there is an error in your code. If there is an error in your code, it will crash. So make sure you have your code 100% working. And as you can see, if we do test, our test command does work. So yeah, that's how you get your bot to stay online 24-7. If this was helpful for you, uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. In the next video, I will be showing you guys how to make a member count command and how to make a warn command. Or maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, we might do some other fun stuff. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to learn how to code uh, Discord bots, more commands, all that stuff, leave a like, subscribe. Um, if this didn't work for you or you are having trouble with your Discord bots and you watched the previous video, just leave a comment or join my Discord server in the description below and I will be able to help you out. Um, so yeah, see you in the next video.